these are the cute ones that are just about as smart as we are. And this knowledge goes a long way, sometimes too far. Some of these cute ones pay close attention to everything we do. And that can mean learning our secrets. Others want to discover how we humans use tools. And some just want to know how people relax. But then there are some that are simply just mischief makers and a little dishonest too. There's a bunch of monkey business going on with these cute ones. The island of Borneo is the third largest on the planet. Much of the landscape is dominated by ancient rainforest. Gorgeous terrain filled with diverse wildlife, including many unique primates. One of the most intelligent of these monkeys happens to be a close relative of ours. These are the amazing orangutans. You might think these friendly looking cute ones got their name from their orange color. But the word orangutan comes from the Malay word meaning person of the forest. And they are a lot like persons. Orangutans grow to be about the same size as a human, about five feet tall but they tend to look a little goofy because their arms are really long. From fingertip to fingertip spans about seven feet. When they stand up straight, their arms almost drag on the ground. Imagine if your arms were that long, pretty weird. But if you lived in the trees of the rainforest, you'd be thankful to have arms like theirs. And orangutans spend 90% of their lives hanging around in trees. Orangutans like being by themselves much more than other apes or people. Males especially are real loners. While dad orangutans like to be alone, moms and their babies stay together for six or seven years so that she knows her baby is prepared to head out on their own. Female orangutans give birth only once every eight years, the longest time period of any animal. Two of the largest primates in Borneo are orangutans and us humans. And in some places, these monkeys and people live really close together. Orangutans watch and learn our habits, and they copy what we do. They seem to respect us, even though they probably think that we're really ugly and weird looking. This washing isn't a trick that we taught them. They completely picked this up on their own. Olivia is watching secretly from the bushes as a worker approaches this storage shed. She's noticed that people keep coming and going from here all the time. It must be an important place. Olivia is very curious and decides to investigate. Well, look at that, a pile of fresh bananas. Jackpot, 
Orangutans eat tree bark, insects, and occasionally meat, but they really love bananas. Olivia's been watching this place carefully almost every day. And orangutans share 97% of their DNA with humans. In other words, they're really smart. Olivia has a pretty good idea of what she needs to do to get her hands on these yummy treats. She gets how to use tools, and figuring out the mechanism to open the door is a piece of cake. Olivia checks out the cardboard boxes to see if these humans have left any other treasures. No luck there. But the bananas are a big score. Picnic time for this cute one. The snow-covered mountains of Japan rise well over 3,000 meters into the sky. And it can get brutally cold up here. Regularly dropping to below minus 10 degrees Celsius. It's not exactly what we think of as the ideal spot for monkeys to live. Most like tropical areas. But these adorable Japanese macaques are better known as snow monkeys. And they happily call these icy peaks home. Pretty cute face on these guys, but it sure does look cold. To survive up here and to combat the freezing temperatures, these clever cute ones have all kinds of tricks. Throughout these rugged mountains, there are natural hot springs called onsen. The snow monkeys are skilled at locating these natural onsen, and they definitely know how to kick back and relax in the baths. It's said they learned this behavior from watching humans unwind in the hot springs. Looks like these macaques have learned the lesson well. And they're enjoying a nice spa day, just like humans. But not all of the snow monkeys have the luxury of a hot bath. Some live in more extreme conditions. and need to literally dig through the snow to find their dinner. One finds a spot with some tree bark and winter buds. Not exactly a feast, but food is scarce these days. Others get wind of the food and soon join their friend. but not everybody is so concerned about food. This baby macaque was trying to clumsily get back on the ground when he discovers a very fun activity. And when the other youngsters see it, they rush to join the fun. Let the adults worry about gathering food. This is a blast. But when night falls and the temperatures plummet, the highly intelligent snow monkeys find a solution. Just like humans, they've learned that cuddling helps keep them warm. Our special thermal camera clearly shows that things are heating up between these cute ones. With sunrise comes more snow, and our cuddling snow monkeys continue to hug each other. It's an adorable scene. Hopefully the bright sun will warm them up. 
they don't look very happy right now. And you can't blame them, it's really cold. These hardy snow monkeys have earned the right for springtime to come soon. They sure could use the break. Thousands of miles away, in the dense rainforests of Central America. Spring means beautiful waterfalls and fast-running mountain springs. This is home to one of the world's best-known monkeys, the white-headed capuchin. You might recognize this primate as the typical companion to the organ grinder. This extra cute one lives in troops that can exceed 20 monkeys that includes both males and females. Life is simpler here. The weather is warm and the food is everywhere. But living here brings entirely different kinds of challenges. Capuchins are some of the most intelligent monkeys on Earth, and it's a good thing. He's got a problem to solve. It's lunchtime. This forest runs up to the beach. And the monkey has gotten his hands on a clam. And those hands sure look like yours and mine. Capuchins have mastered the use of tools, and this clever cute one tries to smash open the clam by slamming it into the tree. Very smart. He tries, and tries again. He's very intense about this task, and he starts to get a little frustrated. This is uncharted territory. What gives with this thing? There's got to be a way to bust it open. Maybe if I try another branch, maybe hitting it faster one of those human tools I've seen. Okay, now I'm getting that. The white-headed capuchin is fast becoming a hot-headed capuchin. The monkeys on the ground are tired of listening to this and scream at him to stop with the racket already. This just makes him more angry. But oh, wait, I feel something. Eureka! Wow, this was worth the trouble. It's delicious. The hot-headed capuchin is full and clearly very self-satisfied. Problem solved. I'm a very happy cute one. New Delhi, India is the urban district of Delhi, the capital of the country. This densely populated city is home to over 20 million people. This concrete jungle is also shared with more than 30,000 rhesus macaques. Like this mom and her very cute baby. Many people feed these monkeys on Tuesdays and Thursdays, days associated with the monkey-faced Hindu god Hanuman. They feel it's a tribute to the god. City life offers unique challenges for the monkeys learning to survive here. And it's not great for the people either. The rhesus macaques of Delhi are naughty mischief makers. They know how to be thieves stealing food, alcohol, glasses, and clothes. They even break into cars. There's a busy farmer's market nearby, and this monkey, who just stole someone's glasses, is spying on the market. It looks like there are plenty of delectable looking items to snatch. But he's not alone. There's actually a gang of determined hungry primates with their eyes on the shopping stalls. These criminals know their hood very well. They 
they often stealthily operate on secret paths and catwalks above the heads of the unsuspecting humans. They skillfully move into position above the marketplace. They cleverly decide to use the rush hour chaos as a diversion so they can swoop in for some snacks. Each monkey has their own favorite target. For these little hooligans, the entire city is basically one giant playground. wire act. I hope they don't get shot. You can see why many people don't find the monkeys very cute. These troublesome monkeys also make raids on civilian homes, stealing literally anything they can get their little hands on. One monkey searches for an empty house and then tries to break in. Ball checks out, the rest of the gang heads in. It would be pretty scary coming home and finding this monkey business going on. Just like a human heist, they strip the place clean, leaving only bare walls behind. And just like with humans, there's always one who needs to return for that last piece of treasure that got left behind. The Indian climate is blazing hot. After all that monkey business in the city, it's time for a lazy afternoon. But the heat is unbearable what to do about it. For the answer, the macaques think about what they've seen the humans do. The monkeys watch carefully and learn. Before long, it's party time. A pool party keeps the gang cool. And just like human parties, there's always that one guy with the really insane idea. Those belly flops have to hurt. I don't think these dives are getting any perfect scores at the Olympics.
very soon it turns into a crazy evening and a long, wild party for the cute ones of the city. Reese's macaques are awfully cute, but they have a knack for creating mayhem wherever they go. At religious temples in India, they hang out at tourist entrances and wait for their right moment to strike. They steal food and jewels that are left as offerings on the altars and around the ceremonial bells. No place is safe on the sacred temple grounds. The pesky macaques even keep a close eye on pedestrian bridges. Plenty of prime targets down there. They're always on the lookout for a way to beg, borrow, or steal. At least until some giant beast spoils the action. That cow is not to be messed with. And it's not just in the cities. In farm country, the monkeys destroy crops without any conscience. This farm has hired a special monkey impersonator to imitate the calls of a langur monkey, a natural enemy of the macaques. The monkey wrangler makes his frightening screams and throws stones to drive the macaques off the land. But these determined cute ones don't scare easily. Monkeys are humans' closest relatives in the animal kingdom. And sometimes, they can be a little too close. Orangutans are so intelligent, they can outsmart humans. While snow monkeys learn to vacation like we do. Capuchin monkeys have learned to use our tools. While the rhesus monkeys just plain steal. Not all this mischief is what we humans have in mind for these unique primates. And they can be annoying. But it's hard to resist smiling at some of the monkey business of these cute ones.